Welcome to another Elden Ring video. I'm Base Bellagio. Today I want to show you a very overlooked and great early weapon for an intelligence build, spell blade, battle mage. As long as you're not a pure mage, if you have a little bit of strength and dexterity. The Meteoric Ore Blade is absolutely amazing. This is my first Intel scaling weapon that I found in nature. I'm going to show you how to get it. And the moveset is a little limited. It's amazing for PvE and even for PvP because not enough people use it. So not really many people are used to it. It also causes blood loss buildup. 50 points per attack, and I've uh, coupled it with the marred wooden shield for more blood loss when you're blocking and stuff. But how do you go about getting this when it's in Kalid area? And if you were to run there, you'd have to fight some pretty tough fights. But if you get your mount, that's the first thing you have to do. You can watch videos on that. And then southeast is the Burnt Dragon Ruins. Inside here is a staircase that leads to a teleporting chest. Let me show you some of the one-handed of the blade. Pretty wide diagonal swipes and swings. And it's definitely possible to miss enemies with it because it's not a lot of range on the swings. The swings are very close to you and very curvy if enemies are around you you're gonna just cut them all down and that's just the one-handed two-handed kind of the same style swiping swings the one caveat is this a super powerful charging right trigger attack that you can just pummel enemies with uh it really showcases on tougher enemies that you break through their shields you break their block it really is good against powerful enemies. And even the the one-handed does a powerhouse kind of kendo style swing. But down here in Burnt Dragon Ruins is the teleporter. And this takes you to the Kalid Crystal Tunnels. I'll show you. Then from here, I'll show you where you have to go. But I like this weapon. It's helping me beat a lot of bosses because my style is use the magic, obviously. We're a battle mage. But you want to have a weapon you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. So look, it teleports you in here. And we're just going to make a beeline for the exit. I got to remember which way the exit is. It's either not down here or it's down here. Eventually, you'll find a site of grace right by the entrance of this dungeon. We're going to rest up. But there's some good stuff in this dungeon, but tough dungeon for the beginning. Okay, now out here, I will show you where we are. We are in Celia Crystal Tunnel. You have to get southwest. To the Kalid Waypoint Runes. And at the Kalid Waypoint Runes, I'll let you figure out how to get there. We're not going to do a, a running you know, trip from this area. But pretty much you follow the path this way. Around the big mountain in the middle here. It's not too difficult. You'll find it. You'll explore. We're going to hop over to moldering wall and I'm just going to ride to the area show you the area if it was tougher like the uh, Moog area like the end game area where people are farming because there's some giant skeletons over there I would definitely show you how to get there but you just run around the map bypass enemies run through enemies 
Those guys are jerks with their homing missile spider webs. I have not explored this area too well. I pretty much stumbled upon this area by accident on stream, found that chest, and then I just explored it. Here is the Kaled Waypoint Ruins. His weapon is even pretty decent on horseback. Oh. Where'd that creature go? I don't think I killed that second one. But again, limited range. There are some downsides. But the scaling is incredible. I want to get to somewhere safe. That I can show you some more. This entire map is not safe. We have to make it safe. Okay. We're pretty safe down here. Let's pull up the window. Let me show you some statistics on this weapon. I also have to pull the window up so I can read it for you. We might die here, but it's okay. Okay, good katana. I'm going to show you where it was found inside a small chest. In a room at the back of an underground hall filled with sarcophagi and prawn minor enemies. So it's underground here. There's a stairwell. It has gravitas for its special. Actually a really good special in PvP and PvE. It could change up the fight. You, you catch someone off guard with it. Um, can't be infused other ashes of war. Has the blood loss. Very unique heavy attack compared to other katanas. Look at the upgrade path. The intel scales with D all the way up until level 9. Then it hops to C for the last two. But strength switches at level 5. Dex at level 6. Eventually becomes a CDC weapon. Starts out at DED scaling. And for as easy as this is to get, really it's not hard. You teleport there, run out, run around, ride to it. You get this thing. This could be a very early weapon for you. All you need is 15 strength, 14 dex. That's all you need. It's like very minimum requirements. Most spell blades have that. Even most regular, just regular sorcerers have that much to, to spare to get this thing. It's pretty heavy though. You're going to need endurance to, to wield it. Definitely going to need endurance to wield it. Let's... Let's see. Oh, I had to shut the window so you could see if we're still alive. We're going to put on our hood right while we go in here for a little extra magic protection. Um, let's also heal up. Let me see if I can just show you where the stairwell is in this ruin. I can't remember. I literally stumbled upon this weapon. I, I wasn't even focused on getting it, but now that I have it and I realize how long I've used it for... It's really just now, I'm level like 60. Really just now I'm starting to think about like, oh, it's time, time to, it's gonna be time to upgrade soon to a, a better battle sword for a, for a spell sword for a wizard like me. But this has been incredible, oh God. It's been incredible to use. The right swing of this, same with most of them. You get that like running slice and then you upward them, uh oh. We're not going to survive to show you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Let's just keep running around here. We're going to ignore the angry people. Well, somewhere around here is a stairwell down. You can trust me on that. Somewhere. I would just explore these ruins extensively. There's some other treasure around here too. Like this, never picked it up. Some rock grease. We gotta jump this way now. I think there it is. Oh, there it is. No! Down here. All the sarcophagi, as you can see. The creepy critters. And down here is where the blade is. This is a tough area when you're early on because of that homing spider web it's insane like if they shoot up and over and around it's like a missile system but back here is the chest we're gonna take refuge back here 
and we'll probably die recording this video. We record these live. Yeah, not much we could do about that. We're just gonna stay in this corner and hide. But no, we're with this sword, we'll get out of here. And have you noticed I haven't even used any magic yet? With you know, I'll show you my build in a second, but any decent battle mage or spell sword will have the same same experience with this. My stats are 19 vigor, 20 mind, 15 endurance, 17 strength, 4, not even that much strength index, 31 intel. Oof. And we're we're low level. We're just we're not even end game yet. So you know that's what I'm trying to say. But down here it is, guys. If you like these little rough impromptu tutorial videos, leave a thumbs up. If not, leave a thumbs down. Give me some constructive criticism. Tell me what you think of the meteoric ore blade. Oh god. It's not even called the katana. It's called an ore blade. Once you use it, you'll figure out why. Look, more items. Oh wow. Quick dodge there, quick maths. Drag great dragonfly head. Interesting. Okay, we gotta get out of here. This is a hostile environment. How am I gonna end recording? Who knows? But in the meanwhile, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon for more videos. Tell that dog to stop chasing me so I can end this. Ah Okay, we gotta up the up the algorithm, right? Little longer videos, YouTube says. These critters, I think at this location or close by, you get that thing as a summon to. But that's a different video. Thank you all for watching and have a great rest of your day. Check out this early Intel sword. You're going to love it.